It's beer o'clock on Relo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Thornbridge and it's a collaboration with Salt Beer Factory and it's their Topello. And it's a hazy pale ale coming in at 5.5% ABV in a 330 milliliter can. So without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Oh, a lot of beer everywhere over there, look. Um, right, here we go then. Expecting reasonable things from this beer. It was part of the four for six pound range in Morrison's, their new range of beers. So it is kind of brewed to that price point, if you like, four for six, one pound fifty a can. Um, but then again, I've had some wonderful, I've had, oh, what's the, oh, the, Thornbridge, the, oh, I've had a lovely Thornbridge beer. It works at £1.12 a can. If you buy, you know, they come in four, four pack in a, in a cardboard box. I think, they, I think they do Jiper. Yeah, I'm sure they do Jiper. Oh, Jamestown. That's the one. Jiper and Jamestown. You can buy them for two for £9 in the boxes, cardboard boxes. And that works out about £1.12 a can. And the beer is astonishing. So, so I'm going to... Um, not reserve judgment on this beer because it was actually one pound fifty a can. This is four pound or four for six. So essentially, it should be a better beer. Two finger white head, hazy looking beer. Big fan of Thornbridge. Big fan of salt beer. So I'm I'm hoping for big things here. Let's let's um, straw coloured. Slow moving carbonation, hazy as you like, two finger white head. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, it smells good. A little bit like lemon fairy, if I'm perfectly honest. Lemon fairy washing up liquid when you when you open the bottle of fairy But really like tropical grapefruit and passion fruit guava mango Orange peel fleshy blood orange the more I'm getting my nose into this the better I give the ABV, didn't I? 5.5% ABV. Smells good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Quite nice. Yeah, it's quite nice. Uh, satisfying. I tell you what I really like about the beer is the grain bill. You get that kind of light. Do you know when you have a sour beer and you and you drink the sour beer? It's really sour very, very quickly, and then you're left afterwards with this light kind of almost like a a, 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 a Jacob's cracker or a waffle. The light kind of biscuity kind of malts come through. Well, I, I just, a, a big mouthful of this beer, the hops kind of was a bit of a crescendo of, of, of pineapple and grapefruit and mango. And then you're left with this lovely light kind of grainy malty taste, which is very nice, very nicely balanced. But yeah, unusual because it's the other way around. I'm getting the hops first and then I'm getting the malts on the, on the back end. That was the first taste anyway, let's, let's get in again. Yeah, hoppy, hoppy, hoppy. Light kind of digestive biscuit kind of flavours coming through on the back end. Yeah, really rather nice. I like that, it's unusual. Passion fruit, mango, orange peel, fleshy blood orange, grapefruit. 
It's one of those for me. Where would I draw? I do a bit of gaming midweek. Nip to Morrison's, pick up the four for six, pick up a few. They've got a salted caramel Las Lasaria uh, ice cream porter. Probably pick up one of them. Pick up some Harbour. Pick up some. You know, as long as it's in that four for six range, get four cans and maybe a Tuesday night when there's nothing on the TV and do a bit of gaming and and just have a few tinnies. Yeah, that's that's where I see this beer. That's where I see it as a more of a a quiet night kind of sessionable beer. You know, you you save your four forty cans, you save the big guns for the weekend, don't you? Yeah, this is sort of a midweek beer, a nice pleasant hazy IPA that's not kind of. It's not quite a Ferrari, if that makes sense. It's more a, it's not a Ferrari, but it's more a, <clears throat> top of the range Mondeo. Do they still make Mondeos? I don't know. Um, a top of the range SUV that everybody seems to be driving at the moment. <sighs> It's nice. No off flavours. Very drinkable, very refreshing. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. Yeah. I've always liked Thornbridge. Um, I think Jaipur, when I first drank Jaipur, uh, came in a box from my brewery tap back in the day. Blimey. Right back in the day, back at the back end of 2010. So it's nearly the back end of 2020, so 10 years ago. Around this time, I prob probably had my first Jaipur. <clears throat> it was in a 330 milliliter bottle. They're in 330 milliliter bottles now, but they jumped up to 500 ml bottles for a long time, did Jaipur, and then they went down to 330 milliliter get again. And now a lot of it's in like orange cans, Jaipur now. Um, yeah, cool, cool stuff. And I loved it. I loved the beer, it was really good. I got a lot of time for Thornbridge. Um, quality brewers of quality beer. Not necessarily, I mean they used to be, they used to be, sorry, itchy ear. They used to be kind of like absolute top end beer. I remember their Raven. Well, I think Raven was a black IPA. Raven being superb. And another beer, a New Zealand Pale Ale. Oh, I loved it. You could get it in Waitrose, 500 ml bottle. What was that called? It was incredible, incredible beer. So they kind of, it's good beer. It's very good beer, as I mentioned. It's not quite a Ferrari. It's more a, a high-end SUV. Um, let's see what the, the brewer says on the side of the can here. Bruin Topello gave us the opportunity to team up with our friends at Salt Beer Factory to create an exciting hazy pale ale using six varieties of hops, including the fantastic Sabro. Expect an abundance of tropical goodness with pineapple and coconut present throughout this easy drinking juice bomb. Pineapple and coconut. Do I get coconut? I suppose there is a little bit of coconut in there. I miss that flavour. But it's not often you pick up coconut in IPA, so um, you can excuse me for that one. I'm going to rate it to Pello Hazy Pale Ale. It's your easy midweek pale ale as far as I'm concerned. I like it enough to give it a 7 out of 10. It's a 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers.